How's it going? This is Zach. Um, I just thought I'd come at y'all with kind of like a new channel for um, testimony, vlogs, song covers. Pretty much just to to get myself out there, but not so much just for, for myself, but to, to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And I know there are going to be a lot of people watching this video that probably don't believe in Jesus, and that's fine. I respect that. We're all entitled to our own opinion. We're all entitled to believe what we want to believe. But I'm going to share on this channel my beliefs and also hopefully the beliefs of millions of other people that might watch this video um well like i said my name is zach um and i've been a christian now for probably seven years seven or eight years and i've been a fully committed follower of jesus for about five and the reason i kind of separate those is because there's a difference between having a feeling when you were saved and actually committing your heart and life to jesus christ and I didn't do that when I was saved. It took me another two years to finally realize that I was still living in the bondage of sin and, sin and pain in my life. And until I finally realized that I can't control my life, that God is the ultimate one that has control, that he is the one that is my provider, and he's the one that's going to get me through all the stuff in my life, that's when I truly became a committed follower of Jesus. And by saying this, am I saying that I'm perfect? Absolutely not. That is no way saying that I'm perfect. Does that mean I don't have hardships? I don't struggle? Absolutely not. Does that, does that mean that I don't have addictions or temptations that I fight and struggle with and sometimes give into every day? Absolutely not. But what that does mean is that I've given my heart my life to Jesus Christ because he gave his life for me so that I could keep my life and I could have life to the fullest. His word promises that, that, that he came so we could have life and have it to the fullest, have it more abundantly. And when when I was growing up, I didn't grow up in a Christian home. I didn't have a dad. I didn't, you know, go to church. I didn't even know what church was until, you know, later on in life. And um, I just loved living my life. I mean, you know, I went through the death of many pets. I went through the... Um, the depression of um, losing my grandfather when I was uh, about 13 or 14 years old. And that was the hardest thing for me. And honestly, I'll be completely straightforward with you guys. I was angry at God. And then by this point in my life, I had accepted Jesus and you know into my heart. But I had begun to, to live of the world. And um, so I began following these idols of um, sex and pornography and began to follow these idols of acceptance and in um, and, and girls and, you know, relationships. And, you know, they satisfied for a little while, but um, after, you know, it was all said and done, they just left me emptier. And so I, I began to search for something more. I began to search for um, a life that, not so much would be, be like perfect, but a life where I could have something more than what I've been, what I've had in the past. And so I began a real heavy search into this Jesus guy and who he was. And I found out how much he loved me, how much he cared for me, and how much it took for him to give his life. See, he, Jesus, honestly, if you read, you know, um, when he's in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he's praying and he says, Father, God, if, if, if I can, please, and if you can, please take this cup from me. Which in that moment, he was saying, God, I'm human and I don't want to have to die. But he knew that was his purpose. So the very end of his prayer was, you know, God, if please take this cup from me, but not my will, but your will be done. See, he realized in that moment that, that in his humanity, he did not want to die. But in his, in his divinity, and his wanting to please the Father, he said, not my will, but your will be done. And that's, that, that speaks leaps and bounds to what this faith is. Sorry, my nose is looking real bad, guys. But that speaks leaps and bounds to what this faith thing is about. It's not about, you know, a bunch of rules and regulations, guys. It's, it's about knowing that what Jesus did was more important. What Jesus did for you is more important than all the... All the drugs, alcohol, sex, women, all that stuff. It's more important than that. It's more important than your life. And am I devaluing the life of a human being? I'm not. 
And if you feel that way, I apologize. I'm just trying to get the point across. So the point is, every single one of us needs a touch from Jesus Christ. And, you know, if you guys have anything you want to share about, if you, if you guys have anything that you want to, you know, get, get out there to the world about your faith, um, please feel free to send a video response to this or PM me with uh, your video or whatever. I want to hear from you guys. I want to know. I want to know what your struggles are. And if you're not comfortable enough sharing your struggles, that's fine. Just, yeah, but if you are comfortable enough, at least share your story. I'd love to hear it. And I know there are a lot of non-believers watching this video. And I'm gonna speak to you guys. I love you guys. I really do. I may not even know you, but through Jesus Christ, I love you. And through his holy power and his heavenly divinity and his awesome and mighty splendor, I love you. And a lot of you may think I'm closed-minded. A lot of you may think that I'm just giving myself into a lie and that I've been brainwashed. And let me tell you something, it's not brainwashing. It's, it's, it's soul-washing. God has taken the blood that Jesus Christ shed on the cross, and he has washed my soul in that blood. And I am free. That's not like, you know, I needed it, really. And I know some of you feel the same way. But because I said, God, I need more from this life than just addiction and, and pain. And he said, you're still going to have those things. Because life is going to come at you hard. But I promise you that I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'm always right there beside you. And guys, that is the best promise that we could ever hope for. That is a promise that will never, ever be broken. There are some 30,000 promises plus in the Bible. And God is true to hold to all of them. He hasn't broken any of his promises. He's always there. He sits, uh, he sits on the throne with Jesus Christ at his right hand. And Jesus Christ, the Son of God, intercedes for us every day. And he says, I know that they still don't get it. I know they're still struggling. But I love them. I died for them. Show them mercy. He intercedes for us. He gave his life that we could have it. Guys, this is a lot more than just some sentimental gush or some head knowledge. Guys, this is about a, a relationship with someone who will never, ever hurt you, that will never leave you, that will never forsake you, that thinks you're beautiful. And I know there's a, there's a girl watching this right now who struggles with, struggles with self-image, who says, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not skinny enough, my hair doesn't look, look good enough, my body isn't a size zero, and guys don't think I'm attractive. Jesus looks at you and says, you're beautiful. And there's a guy out there struggling with, with, you know, addiction to pornography, addiction to just sex. Let me tell you something. Jesus looks at you and says, my grace is sufficient for you. He loves you. He wants to be with you. He has so much more for you than you could ever imagine. And honestly, we'll never understand it. But his word says that, that we should lean on our own understanding. But we should acknowledge his, his sovereignty. And he will make our path straight. And when I say that, I don't mean he's going to make life easy. I'm honestly giving my life to Christ. My life has honestly become a battle daily in my soul and in myself. Not just with the different, you know, struggles and temptations, but with my gods and anything that's a god I'm not meaning you know big G God I mean little G God because there are many gods that live inside of us that struggle and they fight at the same time God is fighting for our soul and so we're constantly in this tug of war we're fighting and they're pulling and they want each part wants more of us but Jesus has already won God has already won the victory. The Bible says that if the Son will, has set you free, you are free indeed. 
and I believe that. And so I'm fighting for that freedom, fighting for that victory and repentance. So guys, I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to PM me or leave them in the comments. PM me. Let's have a let's have a a real discussion. Make a video response asking me some questions. And I'll do my best to answer them. I'll answer any question. So, um, yeah, that's my video. Um, this, and starting uh, probably this evening, I'll make another video. I know two videos in one day is kind of crazy, but uh, I'd like to at least upload two a day. And um, at the least, at, well, obviously at least one a day. But um, I kind of want to make one of the other videos a video from you guys. So I need your support. Please help me to make this channel a channel that can reach the world. Thanks guys for watching the video. God bless.